Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday and it's time for story time. So today we are going to take a trip back through time to the dinosaur time, which is going to be super, super fun because I love dinosaurs. I don't know about you, but I find them completely fascinating. I mean, to think that there were these creatures that were so big and so tiny and they existed on this planet of ours so, so long ago. It's pretty exciting just to think about that. Now, today I thought instead of starting right away with the song, I thought that I would start with a poem. And there was a writer when I was a child who I just adored. His name was Shel Silverstein. And he wrote this book called Where the Sidewalk Ends. He has a whole bunch of books, but this was my first introduction to him, and I loved his poetry. So I thought it might be fun to start today with a little poem. And this is called The Invitation, which I thought was very, very fitting. Invitation means I'm asking you to come and join me. So here's my invitation to you today. If you are a dreamer, come in. If you are a dreamer, a wisher, a liar, a hoper, a prayer, a magic bean buyer. If you're a pretender, come sit by my fire, for we have some flax golden tails to spin. Come in, come in. So I thought it might be fun for us to start each story time with another Shel Silverstein uh, poem. So that was today's, an invitation to come on in. And you know what else I like to do? I always like to say hello. So come on in and let's say hello. We're going to start by waving, right? Here we go. Hello, how are you all? Hello, how are you all? Hello, how are you? I'm just fine today. Glad to see you here today. Glad to see you here today. Glad to Let's rock side to side, shall we? Sitting, you sitting, rock side to side. Sitting, you sitting, rock side to side. Sitting, you sitting, rock side to side. I'm so glad to see you. I got so into my rocking, I forgot to strum. <laughs> okay, what do you say we bounce up and down? That's it. Sitting, you sitting, bounce up and down. Or stand where you are, jump up and down. And sitting, you sitting. Up and down. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, so since we're doing dinosaurs today, let's roar, shall you? Here we go. Give me your best dino roar. Give me your best dino roar. Give me your best dino roar. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, well, since it's all dinosaurs, let's make funny dino faces. I'm so glad to see you. Okay, let's get this dino show started. Everybody wave hello. Here we go. Hello, how are you all? Hello, how are you all? Hello, how are you? I'm just fine too. Day. Very good. Nice to see you all. So let's get started with a fun book about dinosaurs called How to Catch a Dinosaur. How to Catch a Dinosaur. And this is from the New York Times best-selling author and illustrator, Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. And it's called, How to Catch a Dinosaur. Would you like to catch a dinosaur? I'm not sure what I would do with him once I caught him, but it might be fun to try. How to Catch a Dinosaur. Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before, but 
This year I know I cannot lose because I'm chasing a dinosaur. Let's see, look, there's a science fair. Oh, with a bike, they get to win a free bike. Oh, and look, his bike looks like it's been very loved and maybe a new bike would be a really great prize for him, huh? The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. He's working very busy, isn't he? So are all his friends. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that thing over there? <gasps> yes, I think it's a dino tail. Can you see the dinosaur tail? It's right there. The dino is more bird than reptile. We learned in science class that's true. This one's left something behind. I've got our first dino clue. Mm, looks like they tried to catch him in a bird cage here, but they only caught a bird instead. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right by our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. Have you ever seen a Venus flytrap? They're really, really neat. Ooh, and look at this amazing volcano they made. They use baking soda and vinegar, which is a really, really cool way to make a vin uh, volcano explode. This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry, but we've got more in store for her, so this is no time to worry. Mm, it looks like they filled a swimming pool with slime. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can she be onto my tricks? Hmm. She's on a skateboard. She's a very clever dinosaur. Ah, <sighs> well that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. And if that isn't bad enough, she ruined mom's prize-winning roses. Uh-oh. Let's hope those will grow back, huh? We made a pre prehistoric playground with lots of friends to play. Our dino won't be able to resist. This time she won't get away. Let's see all of the neat dinosaurs here that they made. I see a... I see a Triceratops, a pink one, and a Stegosaurus. And it looks like they made a T-Rex out of a box. Oh, and a long neck out of a bucket. Aren't those neat? Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap has pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dinosaur smashed it all to pieces. She should be called T-Rex. Oh dear. See how she wrecked everything. She even sent the Stegosaurus flying. See that? Ah! My mom is an engineer. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let our dino go free. Mm, Robo Hugger 9000. I think we could all use one of those right now. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. If I don't catch this dinosaur soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. The dino hugger went for the triceratops and there's that dinosaur. Can you see him in the background wearing a chicken head? Oh dear. 
We didn't catch the dinosaur. I don't know what to do. But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. All of those amazing things that they used to trap the dinosaur. Each one of them in their own was a pretty amazing science feat. <gasps> we did it! See all of those fabulous things together. They won as a team. Better luck next time. Mmm, look who's down below. Looks like our dinosaur friend did know what was going on the entire time, huh? Oh, there's that little chicken mask hanging out on his coat rack. That's pretty good. And that's How to Catch a Dinosaur. Once again, by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Well, do you wish you were a dinosaur? I wish I was a dinosaur sometimes. I think that we could sing about being a dinosaur. Let's see. What if we go like this? I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur, I'd roar my mighty roar. What else do dinosaurs have? Oh, how about teeth? I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur, I'd show my teeth, teeth, teeth. Oh, how about a long neck? I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur, I'd stretch my long, long neck. Stretch it as long as you can and look around. I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur, I'd stomp my mighty feet. Stomp, stomp, stomp. I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur, I'd swish my long, long tail. Swish, swish. Oh, let's be a flying, flying dinosaur, a pterodactyl. I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur, I'd flap my giant wings. I wish I was a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. And if I was a dinosaur. I'd never wish for more. There you have it. I wish I was a dinosaur just sometimes, once in a while, when I need to reach something really, really high and I had, had a really, really long neck, I could reach it. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so the next book I have for you is called Dinosaur Roar. I love the illustrations in this book. This is Dinosaur Roar. It's by Paul and Henrietta Stickland. And I'm going to make sure that we get to see all the pictures because they're so fabulous. Dinosaur Roar. Now look at all these dinosaurs. Look how wonderful they are. Big dinosaurs, little dinosaurs. Flying dinosaurs, running dinosaurs, walking dinosaurs, lots of dinosaurs. Dinosaur Roar by Paul and Henrietta Stickland. Dinosaur Roar. Dinosaur Squeak. Dinosaur fierce. Dinosaur meek. Dinosaur fast. 
dinosaur slow. Dinosaur above and dinosaur below. I'm not sure if you can see the one below, so let me, do you see him? He's right there. <laughs> kind of hidden, huh? Dinosaur weak and dinosaur strong. Dinosaur short or very, very long. Dinosaur fat. Dinosaur tiny. Oh my goodness. You see that tiny little one? Let's see Look how tiny the tiny one is. Dinosaur clean. Dinosaur slimy. Dinosaur sweet and dinosaur grumpy. Dinosaur spiky and dinosaur lumpy. All sorts of dinosaurs eating their lunch. Gobble, gobble, nibble, nibble, munch, munch, scrunch. <laughs> Look at them all. Aren't they fabulous? I just love these pictures. And that is Dinosaur Roar by Paul and Henrietta Stickland. Now, you know, there are so many good dinosaur books out there. I mean, amazing dinosaur books, books that are picture books, books that are fun story books. But I've been having the hardest time finding fun, silly dinosaur songs. So if you know any good dinosaur songs, please send them to me because I have a lot of good dinosaur books, but I don't have a a bunch of good dinosaur songs. So if you know any good dinosaur songs, let me know. Um, one song that I heard years and years and years ago, and this is literally 30 years ago when I was a babysitter, I heard this song and it stuck in my head, but I cannot find it. And it went like this. Dinosaurs down at the park, playing baseball after dark. Oh, what fun to hit a home run in the dinosaur baseball league. I cannot find it to save my life because I would love to learn it because it's a good song. But I did think we can sing Down by the Bay and we can use dinosaurs. So join me. Down by the bay where the water mountains go back to my home I dare not go for if I do dinosaur shopping at the store. Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the water comes go, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mama will say. Did you see the T-Rex eating Tex-Mex? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the water comes from, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mama will say. Did you see the Apatosaurus singing in a chorus? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the water comes from. Did you see the long neck? Watch the movie Shrek. Down by the bay, down by the bay. 
about anything. You can even make rhymes. You can make rhymes about names. You can make rhymes about things. You can make rhymes about dinosaurs. Which leads me to this next book, How Do Dinosaurs Say Good Night? And once again, the pictures in this book are amazing. The stories are great, but the pictures are amazing too. And this is by Jane Yolen and Mark Teague. I think one of the best things in the world is when illustrators started illustrating children's books because they're really quite amazing works of art. All kinds of different ones, aren't there? Oh, look at this. When we open the page, I want you to see this. There's all the different dinosaurs. And I'll tell you what we do. When we get to the end of the book, we'll go through all the different ones. How do dinosaurs say good night? Oh, this says, for my own little dinosaurs at bedtime, Madison Jane and Allison Isabella, J-Y, and to mom and dad, M-T. Let's see. Oh, he looks tired, doesn't he? I think that's an Ankylosaurus. How does a dinosaur say good night when Papa comes in to turn off the light? Does a dinosaur slam his tail and pout? Does he throw his teddy bear all about? And shout, whoops, does a dinosaur stomp his feet and roar and shout, I want one book more. Does a dinosaur roar? How does a dinosaur say good night when mama comes in to turn off the light. Does he swing his neck from side to side? Does he up and demand a piggyback ride? Does he mope? Does he moan? Does he sulk? Does he sigh? Does he fall on top of his covers and cry? <laughs> no, dinosaurs don't. They don't even try. They give a big kiss. They turn out the light. They tuck in their tails. They whisper, good night. They give a big hug. Mm. They give one kiss more. Good night, good night, little dinosaur. And look, isn't it nice to see the dinosaurs sleep with teddy bears too? <laughs> now let's take a look at some of these, shall we? Here, let's move this way so that you can see. Book jackets are great for keeping books nice and neat, aren't they? Okay, so right here we have an Allosaurus. 
Can you see him? That's an Allosaurus. And this is an Apatosaurus. And this is a Cori, Cori, wow, Corythosaurus. I like its headpiece. Oh, and here's a pterodon. He's a flying bird. He's a flying dinosaur. And a dimetrodon. Dimetrodon or dimtrodon? And here's one of my favorites, the Ankylosaurus. I love the Ankylosaurus. And a trachodon. Now I may be pronouncing these wrong, you guys. Oh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Everybody knows him. Thank you, Jurassic Park. Oh, and a Stegosaurus. And a Triceratops, who is my personal favorite. When I was a little girl, there was a, a storybook called Three Horn the Dinosaur, and it was a little record, a 45, <laughs> tells you how old I am, and my mom and dad used to play it for me before I would go to bed. That's how I, as a dinosaur, would say goodnight. Well, I hate to say this, guys, but it's time for us to say not good night, but goodbye. So let's say goodbye. Goodbye, Danny. Goodbye, Helen. Goodbye, Allie. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Marissa. Goodbye, JC. Goodbye, Delilah. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Isabella. Goodbye, Maya. Goodbye, Sasha. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Lillian. Goodbye, Gabriella. Goodbye, Madeline. I'll see you all next time. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you so much for coming today. Now, I forgot this yesterday. I can't believe I did. But let's put one hand on one shoulder and the other hand on the other shoulder so that we make the letter V in front of us and give ourselves a big hug by closing our eyes and squeezing really tight. That was an extra big hug because I forgot to give you one yesterday from me to you. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.